at the Hedberg Public Library and a little bit about our elder care kits. So first I want to tell you a little bit about how they got started. We realized that there was a need in our community for activity items for those people who have dementia and for their caregivers because you want your, the person you're caring for to be happy and contented and to have something to do. So uh, with the help of the Rock County Council on Aging, uh, we were able to put in for some grant money and there's uh, a state and a federal aspect to this grant money. And they were able to help us to put together these kits. And the kits are, as you can see, they're just totes. They have four to six items in each kit, um, sometimes a little more, and uh, a variety of things and activities. So what, what we really were hoping for is that these kits would give our caregivers a little respite time, just a little downtime. So your loved one that you're helping out needs a little something to do while you maybe go wash dishes or read a book or take a shower. They, this, these are here to help you keep them active and happy. So thank you for joining us today. I will um, kind of go over some of the things that are in the kits. All righty. So the kits come in totes. And they have a locking lid, so they're easy to carry around. And none of them are very heavy. This one is probably one of the heaviest, and it's still not too bad. So they're easy to carry around. They do have handles, and they have lids that have a little locking mechanism, so, so they're, they won't just fall open easily. Um, when you get the kit, You'll notice that on the lid of all of these is a um, contents label. So it will tell you in here exactly what should be in the kit. So when you get ready to bring it back, you can look at this quickly and know that this has a puzzle that has 12 pieces and a cardboard box to hold them. And each item is broke down like that. We want to make it as easy for you as possible because we don't want to charge you for lost items. So that's something to think about. So we try to make it really easy. Inside the kit, you'll find several items and each kit is going to be a little different. Now you might find one of the items in two different kits or four different kits, but no one kit is the exact same as another. So they're all a little different. So I'm gonna go through this kit just a little bit for you to kind of see what's in it. And then I'll talk about more specifically some of the items and how they're used. So here we have a game, it's called What's Your Word? This is a, a little card game it does have some very simple instructions. They're not hard. And these can be used for a person with dementia that's in the early stages or even the middle stages uh, of dementia. And each card has two letters. So you can do it you can, you can make up a game with these if you wanted. But a couple of the games that they talk about is putting, having the, having the dealer or one of the people spell out a word, maybe every letter but one letter. And then the other person would guess that word or maybe you would want them to find the letter to go in that. Uh, the other thing you can do is Deal these out like you would a regular deck of cards and have everybody make words out of the cards they get. 
So it can be lots of fun. This is something that they can also work on their own if they want. They could sit down and spell words and uh, uh, write things out, or it's a wonderful thing for the family. And I think of people who, grandkids who come to visit, sometimes they're not sure how to interact with grandma or grandpa anymore, and, um, or the neighbor person who they always were friends with, and, but now they can. And they can sit down and play a nice fun game of cards. This next item would be somebody in a more advanced stages of dementia where a lot of their, um, they still have a lot of tactile senses, but their memory is quite impaired. And it's, it's a pad, it's plastic, it can be washed down easily, and it's just full of gel and little stars glitter stars and it can sit on their lap and it's very tactile the the gel moves around it's red but it kind of changes to a an orange when it gets thinned out and kind of kind of just interesting and fun to do that way um, many of the kits you're going to find a dvd or music cds and these will just go into a DVD player or a CD player that have music or we have one that has comedy. And it's just, this one has patriotic songs. One more thing we have here is a puzzle. So this one, because we have this nice patriotic music, um, a sing-along music on the DVD, we put in a patriotic puzzle. And these puzzles, let me show you the inside here. They're very large pieces. And I have been told by family members that many of these puzzles that we have have been very nice um, for the person they're caring for to put together. And in fact, it can be kind of a family thing where grandkids help, uh, parents help, grandparents help. So it's a great way. And like you can see, they're very large pieces and easily to see. Um, inside, we also have a brochure. You're welcome to take this if you need any more information about the Council on Aging. And we will refill this. So if you need this brochure, please take it. And also, there is a survey in here that will tell you that we asked for you to tell us what you think of the kit, how it worked for you, and all of that. On the back side, just gives you a little idea of why we put these things together. So, so that is one of the kits. The next one I want to show you is um, this one has what's called a launch pad. So it comes in and it has a little handle on it. It's a very nice little carrying case and it has a small tablet. This does not have to hook up into any Wi-Fi. This probably would be for people who are really early stages of um, of dementia and inside you'll find a cable and a plug-in on the end is where you plug it in here here is volume up and down so it does have a little music to go with it and here is the on switch and it is just a little tablet and it has several little games. It seems to me it also has a calculator and some other things that can be played. So there's the screen. So you can reset it or you hit the where it says H for Hedberg, 
public library. And here is the screen with the games on it. And in here are a couple of other items. We have another puzzle. This one has a tractor on it. Again, very large pieces. This one has 12 pieces, so it can be lots of fun to use. This is one of my favorite things. I think this is, if you have, um, if the person you're caring for was always a handyman and enjoyed tinkering or maybe did a lot of plumbing and, and other things like that, this is really nice. So we have like this, it looks like, a toolbox, doesn't it? And inside you'll find a stand and the stand has holes on it. Also, I should probably show you that everything in here is also marked with an HPL and a number. And that number corresponds to the number on the box. So you know. So that helps too. You know that this is ours and that it goes in the box. So then there's all these little PVC pipes and you can put them in there and, and then it has little connectors. You can put them together. It has different sizes of PVC that you can put together and they could just put it together in all kinds of ways. You could do, they can either do this alone or um, with someone. I think this could be a really fun and you can probably make up little games with it uh, for, for the kids and the person that you're caring for. So this would be great for someone who's kind of um, mid-stage, who, who has lost some of the ability to do the things that they've always enjoyed doing, always have been used to doing, and, um, but are, are need a fun activity and, and something that they're used to doing. That doing familiar things can be very therapeutic and comforting. So, um, that is that. Then we also have in here memory cards. And this is just a memory game. So you pull out the cards and the back of them has just a question mark. And again, you'll see it has HPL 104. So you know that all of these cards and every one of them is marked like that. On the other side is a picture. So this one has tacos, here's an ear of corn, apples, bagels. So there's all these different things and you would lay these, you could shuffle them, lay them out, and then you're looking for matching pairs. And so this again would be for someone with a mid to late stage um, probably mid to not quite late, late stage, but it, it give them a chance to use what memory they still have. Again, this is something they can do on their own or they can do with others. It's a, a great thing. This next thing is definitely for people who are in the late stages of dementia. And it's called a fidget apron. They, they don't have to wear it, but they can. So we have, it, it does go around, it can be hooked around their neck. Let's see if I can get it around there. Not very well, but a little bit. There we go. And then it also can be tied onto around their waist if you need to. It has little things like that. And it has all kinds of things just to fidget with. And don't we all like to fidget? I mean, this is nothing just for, I mean, how many of you enjoy popping bubble wrap? This is about the same thing. And some of the items on here, first of all, we have 
a flap that would have been like a pocket flap. Here's a, a big, a nice big zipper. And then of course there's lots of nice colors. This is a nice piece of terry cloth. And you know, just having something tactile to feel can be very soothing and, and nice. Um, we have a buckle here that you can help them or they can put together. Here's another tactile, it's, it's a, like a flannel, has a nice feel to it. Here's a ribbon that they can tie into bows or whatever. And then another piece of cloth that's kind of a pocket and it has a great big button. So it's just a nice little thing to give them something to kind of, we all enjoy fidgeting from time to time. So all of that then just can go right back in the box. The lid closes and you can know that everything is in there. Okay, we're going to look at a couple of other things here. And, and we'll... Um, we won't go through everything here, but I, I show you a few of the things. This is another type of puzzle we have. The pieces are large, but not quite as large as the other. It has a board that has the picture on it that you just place the puzzle pieces on there. Um, this would be for someone in the later stages and you, they can, there's these cards that have different sequences of colors and styles of beads. And if you put these here, they can uh, look at it and find what kind of bead it is. So maybe that one, it's hard to see. Um, they can lay them down or there's pegs. So... Maybe you'd want to put this like that. And now they can look. Now we want an orange one. There's an orange square there. And on up. And sorting is something we have all done all of our lives. And this is not something that, that ever goes away. And it, what, a, what a great way to keep someone involved and active and thinking and even problem solving to a certain degree. And then here, uh, this and this one I'm showing you now would be for later stages of dementia. And this is just a bag with all kinds of little squares. And most of them have matches, so here's also a matching game. Not only is it very tactile, so here's like some fleece and some fur. This has dots embroidered on it, so it has a nice pattern. Satiny, and this is kind of velvety, and they can, they can match them up or just feel them. There is some instructions that will tell you what, how to use them, what to do with them, and, but you can always make up your own games. And these are all things that they can either do alone or with family members. And in here, we have another puzzle. It's a little different. It's also, it's 24 pieces. Let me open it up here. They're not quite as big as those others, but they are large pieces. This one has a nice summer picnic looking like picture on it. Kind of fun. Um, that This would be for early to mid stage. And, and this would be for later stages. And again, it, it has a slide-out lid. 
It has all the different shapes. Again, it's a sorting type of thing um, with colors and all of that. This one is a matching type game. And you have all these little tiles that have a cutout, a shape. So here's a another one, and here's one, and there. And then it, it also in here is the shapes. So you, the idea is to match up the shape with the cutout tile that it fits into. And there's probably other t ways you can use this. So, and it comes in a nice drawstring bag. Now this one, we have several of them that come with jumbo cards. Some of them are just large print on pretty much a regular size deck of cards. This one, as you can see, are great big cards. They also have nice large print on them, so they're easy to see, easy to hold on to, because we know that our loved ones with dementia, it becomes harder to hold things and to work things. So this deck of cards can be really helpful. The other thing that I think is so much fun is we have a big set of dice. In fact, we have two kits that have these dice in them. And they are foam. They're not going to hurt anything. Um, and they have the numbers around them. And you can use these just like you would any dice. You could even use these dice when you're playing another game, something that they're able to see and to touch and to use easier than maybe those little itsy bitsy dice. So, but you can play any dice game with these. Now, we have 21 of these kits on shelf. I am not going to show you all 21 of them, but I did want to kind of give you an overview of a few of the things that you'll find in the kits and how they'd be used. Um, so here's the last two that I'm going to kind of show you. This one, I think, is everyone's favorite. This one has our friend in it, the kitty. Oh my goodness, we really love this kitty. He is so cute. And he has an on-off switch down here. So if you want to just pet him, you can do that. Or he can be interactive. How about that? Isn't he cute? Um, he will meow and he'll Purr. Can you hear that? Yeah, purr. I've seen him lick his paw. He sometimes rolls over and so you can scratch his belly. And you see his eyes move and his ears move. And he's, he is a favorite. So if you're looking for him to take home to use for our three-week checkout period, you let us know um, because it's possible if he's checked out, you may have to wait for him. But, you know, we can put these items on reserve for you, and you can come and pick them up later. Well, I'm going to leave him right here for the moment while I finish going through the rest. Here is the DVD with the funniest moments of comedy. And so it has Lucille Ball, the Three Stooges, Carol Burnett, uh, Abbott and Costello, Victor Borgia, the Honeymooners, and more. So all kinds of... And it's always good to laugh. It doesn't matter what stage of dementia or not that you're in, it's always good and healthy to laugh. So this is another little matching game, and it has tiles. And it's all pandas. 
So it makes it maybe just a touch more difficult. There's another panda. And it comes in this nice sturdy box. You just put all the pieces back in. And again, the lid will tell you that in this box, matching panda game, there's 48 pieces in this cardboard box. So that will t so that you know when you have to bring it back. This is the only kit that has a picture book in it. Now this is written specifically for adults. So this would be people who are maybe mid-stage to late stage, where maybe they can read it on their own, and maybe not. Maybe somebody would have to read it to them. This was donated by the Rock County Council on Aging. And like most picture books, let's get to the good stuff. We have beautiful artwork. That's the one wonderful thing about picture books. It has such beautiful out, um, artwork. And it has a nice little story that they can either read themselves or that you can read to them. And I can even envision maybe a granddaughter, grandson saying, Oh, I want to read to Grandma and being able to do that. So I think this is really a great addition to our kits. Now, I should tell you that if anything in here, and we do have just a couple of things that do take batteries. The launch pad doesn't really need batteries because you can recharge them. Okay, you plug it into the wall. But the kitty does need batteries. Now, if the batteries are in there and they're working, there for you to use. But if the batteries die and you want to use the kitty at, to make all its noises and, and movements, you will have to put in your own battery. I, we will, I will stipulate that. Um, I believe the instructions say that it comes without a battery. Sometimes you'll find a battery from the last person. They'll just leave the battery in, which is always very nice. But here's all the instructions that tell you how to use it and what to do with it. If you ever have any questions, you can call us here at the library. And um, you could either call me at my desk, and the number there is 608-758-6592. Or you can just call the library number and someone will help you or get you in touch with me. And the number there is 608-758-6600. And we can certainly help and guide you through it. So here, because this, is, this has our kitty in it, and you may name him anything you want. We've not named him. We just call him Kitty. Um, we have a puzzle with the cat on it. So lots of fun and a great way to stay active. There we go. And a nice brush to brush the kitty. So I think I'm going to set him right here because he's so cute. And the last one. Again, the toad is slightly different than the others, but it's basically the same. It has locking handles on it and it has the contents label. This has an, another one of the fidget aprons. It's a little different color but basically the same thing. This has a thing called design blocks and they're just great big blocks you spill them out, and they have different colors or patterns on each side. And you can see on the front, if you follow the directions, you can make all these different patterns. So then you would just look and find the patterns to make whatever pattern it is you're looking to make. And you can just, you can do it right back in the box or not. 
There we are. So that, I think, again, this is somewhere between sorting and matching. And, and if you have someone who used to quilt, I think this would be really good for that. Um, all that little piecing of little material, maybe they can't do that anymore, but it doesn't mean that they don't still have that need to kind of help out that way. Oh, there she is, or he. I don't even know if it's a he or a she. And then we have what's called a tangle. And really, this would be probably not exclusively, but probably for later stage. Um, and it's it just makes weird. It turns around. You can do all kinds of things with it. It's a plastic, and it has little bumps on it. And it's kind of colorful. And again, it's a fidgety thing. We all like to fidget. It's a great thing. All right, and it comes just in a little Ziploc bag. The bag has our initials and the number again on it, as well as each part in it. It does come with little directions or ideas, so. <clears throat> and how many of you remember doing the lacing cards? So this is and you don't need a needle. Nobody can get hurt with this. Well, there we go. And so you, re I bet you, you all remember playing with these as kids. What about if you have someone who used to love to sew? This is something that will keep them occupied, give them something to do that they, that's familiar and that they've always loved to do. And then the last thing I want to make sure that you see is the playaways. Several of the kits have a playaway. Now this one just kind of has ambient noise. So this one is a meditative ocean and rainforest. So it's going to have water sounds, the sound of oceans. It's very soothing and, and nice. And this is technically probably what you would call an mp3 now this one happens to have a battery in it the person who was who was the last one to use it left a battery for it again battery things we do not provide the batteries but if it has a battery in it um, you're welcome to use it if the battery goes dead please throw it away for us but this is what this is what the item looks like. So there's the front with the title. Um, again, it says HPL 118, so this goes in box 118. The other side looks like this, and it has a play button, fast forward, fast reverse, forward and reverse, and um, the on off switch. Now this, besides the battery, also needs a way for you to hear it. So on the bottom is a plug-in for earphones, earbuds, or if you have some of those small speakers that would like to want a computer, you could put those so that they can listen to them that way. Now I will also tell you that right here, when you come and check to check these out, we do have normally batteries and earbuds that we sell at a very, very low cost. I think the earbuds at this point in 2021 are $1. So we don't sell them for very much. And I make no promises as to the quality. They're not going to last you forever is my guess, but they will get you, get it taken care of as far as so you can listen to them. But the, also you can put regular headphones, which might be easier for, for uh, someone in, in mid to late stage dementia. So this can be a great thing. And just you just talk to anybody that's upstairs in the library when you get ready to check out 
and they will help you with batteries and earphones if you need them or earbuds I should say so that kind of goes through some of the things that we have some of the others had things that we I didn't show here but I think um, we went over some of the major items that might need some explanation I hope that you're able to use these I will tell you you can put them on reserve you can renew them so if you've used them for three weeks as long as there's no hold on them, no reserve, you can um, renew them for another three weeks. You can either do that online we, using your card, or you can call and someone here will help. Again, the number for that is 608-758-6600. We'll also send these out in interlibrary loan. So if you happen to be watching this on YouTube and you're up in Manitowash Waters or wherever, we'd be glad to send them to your local library for you to pick up and use for a few weeks. So, um, so I hope this has been helpful. We're so happy that we can provide these to the community and thank you so much for joining me.